Today's Bible study is titled, Faithful is He That Calleth You. As Paul is closing his first epistle to the Thessalonians, he provides some final instruction to them regarding their walk in the truth. And his instruction begins with, Now we exhort you, brethren, so here Paul is instructing believers. But, by itself, these instructions sound like a huge D.O. list, but remember context matters, so be sure and read to the end, today. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves, and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesyings. Prove all things, hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly, and I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 14 to 23 Certainly, Paul is instructing some things to be done and or not done by believers, but let's be diligent and look a little more closely at the entire context. By themselves, these verses could be interpreted in such a way that the accomplishment of these things somehow depends on the believer. This would be a very troubling interpretation as, if we are honest with ourselves, we know for a fact that we cannot really do any of this on our own. And here is what appears to be a conundrum, for believers often study and read to this point or are directed by their teachers and preachers of the word to this point and do not go any further for context. In the instance of this scripture, as is most often the case, it would really be sad for the believer to go no further and miss completing the context of these verses, for you would miss the whole point of what the apostle was instructed of the Lord to write. In fact, it is only when the believer reads and studies further that the conclusion of this instruction is found, namely, faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24 Thus, by simply reading further, we find that these instructions don't depend on us at all, other than to be believe and rest in the truth. And that truth is. Yes, the one who has called us to these is faithful and, yes. It is he who has, and will surely accomplish the doing. What is demonstrated by this is that the understanding of the word of truth always comes down to the willingness of the believer to study the word, rightly divide, and be sure of context, getting the complete message intended. Believer be like the Bereans of Acts 17 verse 11, who received the word with all readiness of mind, but did not stop there. For they searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Also, be as Paul instructed Timothy and study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 for as you diligently and rightly divide the word, you will come to the right understanding. Special note, I hope you have enjoyed this dashboard study of 1 Thessalonians and that it has challenged you to engage in your own study of this epistle. The mystery teachings of this epistle are vital to an understanding of God's plans for the body of Christ at the end of this dispensation of the grace of God. Believer, Study Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.